Hey guys, Emily plus three invited me to do a tag called the husband tag, which means da da da, Mauricio's here. For this tag, I am going to tag our life on a budget and the former Mrs. Jones. This tag is 33 questions to my husband to see how well he knows us and our relationship. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you right now, uh. Mauricio and I are not a romantic couple. I am like the anti-romantic and- That's um, the reason why, I mean, that's the reason I marry you because you, I'm, I'm not romantic. So like remembering anniversaries, I can't do that either. Question numero uno, where did we meet? Cali, Colombia. You wanna be more specific? Cali, Colombia, South America. <laughs> Okay. Number two, where was our first date? I was this bar in Bogota. I remember the lights, uh, like the electricity went off. I was our first date the bar and we kissed there. Okay, so then you answered number three, where was our first kiss? At the date, at the, rest, the bar. I think we were at a restaurant and then we went to the bar. We went to the the steak place where we saw the Colombian movie stars, you remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were like, oh my gosh, do you know who those are? And I was like, no. Number four. Ooh. This is so touchy-feely. How did you know I was the one? Oh boy, come on. You see, I don't <laughs> this know. Is so not us. <laughs> I received that I, email. <laughs> I told him I was the one. <laughs> I don't know. This is uncomfortable. <laughs> we don't talk about feelings in our house ever. Um, I don't know a lot of stuff. Uh, I liked you because of um, you're pretty, you were really smart, and then um, um, you were independent. You had this thing that was different from what. Women, women I used to date, and then yeah, I wasn't trying to get pregnant. <laughs> True. True. You had a drive, and and it, I don't know. You, just... you answered it. You're okay. good. You can stop now. Oof. <laughs> Number five. What was your first impression when you met me? <laughs> don't use the B word. I was gonna say oh, oh, beautiful. Okay, that B word you can use. <laughs> Shut up. That is so not true. What was your first impression? I was freaking scared. I was in t actually intimidated more than anything because uh, I used to uh, work in Columbus police officer in a special unit and then um, somehow we worked with this one over here and then uh, when I met her it was because we were working together and some and then uh, I was like oh my god the American girl here I go. Number six. When did you meet my family? That uh, was in January 2008. January? Yeah. Oh no, June. June. It was in June. Do you want to give some more details? I stopped them and say hi. Give them a hug. I say hola. Sayonara. And my pencil is blue. <laughs> my pencil is blue. Airport. Actually, it was at the Reagan Airport at the DCA. The... And then, um, the, I remember your mom was, we were going down the escalator and then your mom was there and then I saw her and I gave her a hug and then your dad was waiting at the car and then we got in the car and I was just like, it was my first time in the United States so I was just like, I didn't pay attention to that and I'm just looking out the window like, oh look how beautiful the first world. Look how beautiful the first world. <laughs> tell them, tell them about the steak dinner we had that night when my parents picked us oh, up. Oh, so well, we got here and then uh, heard that barbecued and then he got this uh, T-bone steak like big old. and then um, it was as big as bigger the than my head no nothing if it was bigger, bigger than, than my head, head it's because it was huge <laughs> anyway so um, when he when he cooked they get me this dinner I mean the steak I was like what and there's like is that for me and she said yeah it says with that I can feed my entire family in Colombia for a week it's like it was like a cow it was huge. It, it was huge. Yeah, it was I a was, pretty big steak. I couldn't eat the whole thing. Which is, I guarantee he could eat the whole thing right now. What are you trying to say? We have like five kids here playing right now. So if you hear noise in the background, sorry. And that doesn't include Mauricio. He's number six. Okay, number seven. Do we have any traditions? Do traditions we? and systems are not the same. Well, we started one recently with which is the one with the friends for Thanksgiving. We play a, a flag football thing. We oh, started yeah. that like 
two That's years ago. Two years ago. But uh, we had this thing for uh, Christmas that uh, uh, the day after Thanksgiving, uh, we decorate the house for Christmas and then uh, that's a tradition. Yeah, you get in red and green and we put on the song, It's, it's the, the Most Wonderful, wonderful Time of the Year. Wonderful. And Mauricio oh, dances around like a dork. And it's actually really funny. And I would have filmed it this year, but we're not at our house, so we didn't do our family tradition. Number eight, you'll probably remember this one because I honestly legitimately don't. When was our first road trip from no, Baton Rouge? It was Baton Rouge to um, pa -pa 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 Pan Am City. Oh, yeah, to Florida with my brother. Number nine, what's the first thing you noticed about me? You were blonde hair. Okay. Oh, actually, it was your teeth, your perfect aligned teeth, because mine went like that. I was like, oh, look at beautiful teeth. My perfectly aligned teeth. Yes, my parents. No, I was A fortune on those, by the way. Well, it was blonde hair, actually. Long, long yeah, hair. I had really, really long hair when when I met Mauricio. Number 10, what do we argue about the most? Right now about money. Have we always argued about money? Nope. No, when we were blissfully not worrying about money, we never argued about money. No, you and me going out with my friends. I don't go out. I'm like a total homebody, so. You know, party killer. I am a party killer. It's a pro. <laughs> Every single party. We were, like after nine, she turns into the party <laughs> killer mode and it starts yelling like, Whoa! and everybody's like, oh, okay, Wendy, it's time to go. Yeah, that actually, last night we went to a party and um, at about 9.15, I got out a pillow off the couch and put my head on Mauricio's lap and somebody came and covered me up with a blanket. At like the New Year's uh, Eve party, uh, the New Year's uh, Oh yeah, New party. Year's was pretty bad. I stayed up Not until 3 no. o'clock in the morning though. Because I told him, he says, just, you should be aware of a nine, this one's gonna start yawning like a cow. A cow, <laughs> the, thank the you. Cows. I don't know if cows yawn, but thank but you. But you were like, <laughs> Number 11, who said I love you first and where was it? This one I remember. <laughs> Okay, you go. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Mauricio said he loved me first. He was drunk, called me on the telephone, and told me he loved me. Obliterated drunk. So much so, he probably doesn't even remember it. I do remember that. No, you don't. You're such a liar. I Where do. were you? What What part of Colombia were Pasto. you in? Oh, okay. That's cheating. <laughs> so I remember and then it's cheating it's just number 12 what's my job boss me around <laughs> crack the whip Whoops. <laughs> no I would say just she works for the government number 13 <laughs> who wears the pants in the relationship <laughs> Number 14. If I'm watching TV, what am I watching? Right now, house. You don't watch TV. The only TV we watch is when we agree on on a on a, a TV show that we want to watch, and then we start watching it. But uh, you yeah. don't watch TV. You just... Yeah, I never have the TV on. You're doing a lot better than I thought you would. Number 15. What is one food that I do not like? Ah, pork. That pork is chops. true. I hate pork chops. <laughs> Number 16. If we're out to eat, what kind of salad dressing do I order on my salad? The weirdest one. <laughs> the weirdest one. That's actually probably pretty true. If it sounds really gross, then I usually order it. Like, you know, like fig and orange and bacon. So or nice. something. That's, That's me, the I regular eat. ranch. I actually know like the blue cheese one she, she mm, used. I do eat a lot of blue cheese. But I do order weird. That's pretty good. Number 17. What drink do I order when we go out to eat? Anything with a cucumber. <laughs> Cucumber? What's a cucumber? I don't know. A cucumber. I can't. Don't put that up. Cucumber. Cucumber. Number 18. What size of shoe do I wear? Oh, shit. Can I call my parents? They know. Let me call my dad, actually. He knows. Do not call your father. Two or some nine. That's close. Nine and a half. I used to wear an eight and a half, and then I had Melina, and while I was pregnant, apparently my feet grew. Number 19. If I were to collect anything, what would it be? Sand. Oh, yeah, I do. I collect sand when we go to the beach. I have a, them all in little matching jars and lined up on little shelves. Number 20. What is my favorite type of sandwich? I have no idea. I don't know. 
turkey after Thanksgiving. Man, well, I couldn't tell you what your favorite kind of sandwich is, so we're good. Some meat. You yeah, meat, no. Pen, that's it. meat, no lettuce. Number 21. What would I eat every day if I could? Pasta. That's true. But I can't. No more pasta for Wendy. Number 22. What is my favorite kind of cereal? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I do know, but I cannot remember the name. I don't know how to call it, but it's weird. It has this all this fruity, juicy stuff in it that I don't know. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. I like... I don't eat a lot of cereal. Um, now I to. eat no cereal. But you used to, right? I used to. I would eat... I like anything that has, like, nuts. So I like knew it! I knew nut, it! Honey um, flakes, or... I do love life. Cereal. And I do life, too, man. Life is good, and golden grams. But I really... I, I can't eat cereal anymore. No more wheat for Wendy, so... Number 23. What's my favorite kind of music? Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> He's one of my favorites. That, that type of music. Okay. Yeah, Latin pop. I, I love Latin pop, so... A Florida kind of thing. I do. I run to Florida. I love Florida. 24. What's my favorite sports team? She doesn't like sports. Thank you. Number 25. What color are my eyes? Blue. Okay. Just checking. Number 26. Who is my best friend? Diane. Wrong. Who's your best friend? You, dumbass. I'm your husband. Yeah, my best friend. Diane is probably my closest girlfriend, but not my best friend. You're my best friend, honey. I feel bad. <laughs> I'm apparently not his best friend. This is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna come up later, <laughs> so you know. Okay, number 27. I, I got an instantaneous one on this. What is something I wish you would not do? <laughs> so many. <laughs> Pick one. Come up with last minute stuff that is not in the schedule. That is true. That I wish you wouldn't do that. That's not my number one. Chewing with your mouth open. Number 28. This one's going to be kind of difficult for him. Where am I from? United States. You were born in Carmen, California, but you moved. You live in Florida for a while, and then you moved up, uh, moved up here, and you grew up in Virginia, mostly. That's actually quite impressive. I was born in Carmel, California, and um, my dad was military, so we moved a lot, a lot. Number 29, if you were to bake a cake for my birthday, you would never bake a cake, ever. You'd buy a cake. Okay, let me rephrase the and question. Barbecue a cake. <laughs> yes. If you were to barbecue a cake for me for my birthday, what kind of cake would it be? You would have chocolate. Wrong! You really are wrong on that one. That's like the exact opposite of the cake I would get. White cake with white buttercream frosting. Have you never spent any time with Diane and I? Let me, let me take note of that. Mm -hmm. Really? Really? I remember that. You Chocolate? were your friend, your best friend, but I hope a big old cake like that and ate it in a weekend. Like you We did. We bought a wedding cake and ate the entire thing in a weekend. That might explain our my uh, previous weight problem. Number 30. Did I play any sports? Yes. You did swimming. A lot of swimming. I did. Number 31, what could I spend hours doing? Uh, organizing. <laughs> Cleaning and organizing. But, uh, mo mo no, beyond organizing, like the regular organizing that we do, like, but uh, like cleaning, but uh, it's like organizing, like it's a Melina's bookshelf. You would... Number 32, what is one unique talent I have? When she decides to do something, she does it. And she accomplished it. Like when she decided to start this YouTube thing, I'm like, okay, you do. When you said, I want to do something, you do it. Like you did scrapbooking and then you were a pro, you wouldn't even earn any money with that stuff. So, yeah. Number 33, why did you fall in love with me? Don't say green card. Wow, that's an uncomfortable question. We don't talk about that stuff. Yeah, we don't. This is weird. It's awkward. What did Honey, I... why do you love me? Because I have to. <laughs> I needed something like you in my life. What, to smack you around? To, no, someone like you, exactly like you. To compliment me. I needed that. I needed you. And you were the perfect, perfect fit. Oh, oh now I'm going to throw up. Okay, that's it. Is you want to say bye to the folks? Kiss? No, I'm not kissing you. 
Not that romantic we are. Yeah, we are so not a romantic couple. Okay, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next one. See ya! <laughs> Dude, we didn't do the check. Oh yeah, clap, clap, clap. Here, clap again. Now clap like a Latino man.